Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the basics of removing braces from teeth. Um, it's quite easy and yep, it's going to be just a short tutorial to show you the basics. Okay, so I've got my background layer. I just want to duplicate, duplicate that, Control J, and I'm going to hide the background layer. So I'm not touching that at all. First thing we want to do, go to our patch tool. You can either press J, Shift J, or go to it in the toolbar just over here. And I'm currently using Content Aware, Structure 4, and Color to 0. Uh, I've got sample all layers. I don't want to do that because I'm just going to be working on this layer itself. Um, normally I do separate layers, uh, but for this tutorial, because it takes quite a while with what we're doing, um, I'm just going to do everything on the one layer. So it's a bit destructive, but uh, you'll get the gist of what to do. Okay, so I've got my patch tool selected. Um, I just want to go around this piece of the bracer just over here, just like that. And now what we want to do, we want to find the lightest spot of skin, um, which currently to me it looks like it's just over here. So I'm going to click and drag it just to about there. There we go. Okay. Now control D to deselect your selection and either shift J or you can go up to the toolbar to select your spot healing brush tool. Okay. Now we just want to click away all of this, this um, frame or whatever you want to call it. Just like that. Okay. So we've, we'll get into the middle here in a minute. Let's just carry on with the braces. Uh, patch tool again, I'm going to do two teeth using the skin um, and then by then we should have enough to do the other teeth, just like that and click and drag, done, okay, control and D, back to the spot healing brush and let's get rid of all of this, just like that, so you see it's a lot simpler than it looks, um, there we go. Okay, we've got a bit of a, a mark in there. So let's go to our burn tool. And we want to make sure we've got the highlights selected. I've got my, oh, let's change the exposure to about, uh, let's make it 6%. Um, and I'm going to decrease the, oops, sorry, I've got highlights selected there. So I'm just going to hit enter. I'm just going to decrease the size of the brush just so I can. Make a little line there, so it just looks a little bit, a little bit better. I'm not going to go into great detail doing that now. Um, I'm just showing you how this is done, really. Oops, wrong brush. Okay, back to the patch tool, and let's get this going. So we've got that and round. Okay, now we can see it. There's the edge of the tooth there, so we want to try and. Put it roughly how you think it's going to look. Um, you can always adjust it a bit later. Spot healing brush, decrease the size. I'm just going to dab these spots out the way. And that one as well. Okay, I'm just going to increase the size like that. There we go. See, it, it's actually looking quite good. Um, I'm not going to use the spot healing brush there. Control Z. I'm going to use a clone stamp, which is S, or on the toolbar just over here. And decrease the size. And I'm going to select my points. Hold down Alt and select. And I'm just going to go around and select a few spots just to get rid of it over there. Sorry, I ended up whispering there. I started concentrating too much. Okay, and now... What we can see here, we can see another um, example of the the frame overlaying the, the tooth marks. Um, so let's just create a clone over there. Okay, that's probably a bit big. Control Z. I have to do go to my history tool because I went one too far. Let's sort that out first. Okay, so let's go to spot healing brush. Let's sort this out. Okay, and we want to use the burn tool and just come down here. I'm going to actually turn the exposure up a little bit because I keep on having to go over and over it. Okay, 
it's not great, but it will do for this tutorial. Clone stamp S on the toolbar. And I'm going to increase the size just a tad. There we go. Okay. Hold down Alt for your point. And I'm going to stick it just over, over there. Okay. It's not great. Um, needs a little bit more time, but I'm trying to do this quickly so you don't get bored. Um, but you get the gist of that. Okay, so that's three teeth done, and we're going to do exactly the same for the others. So we're going to do the spot healing brush over here. See the gums come in there, so we want to really change that. Let's go to the clone stamp, and let's clone from that part there. Okay. Just around there. And you can see there's a bit of a gray tint to the... Um, to the teeth itself, I will be creating a how to whiten teeth tutorial, but we won't have time in this one because I'm just trying to get this done quickly. Um, I'm not going to do all the teeth by the way, um, so if you're getting a bit excited, I'm not. I'm just doing this to to show you the, the most of it. Okay, let's just get rid of those. Okay, so that's that part. Now let's do this big one over here. It's going to be a bit challenging, so I'm going to see what I can do with that. That's probably a bit of a big space like that. Okay, there we go. Done. Control D. Perfect. Well, almost perfect, but it looks good. Okay, and you basically want to do that with the rest of them. Those are out of focus, so you just need to, once you've done it, add a bit of Gaussian blur. Um, just to blend it in a bit, you can clone this away. Let's actually see if we can do that now. We've still got time. If you're getting bored, please leave in the comments. Tell me how I can improve my tutorials for you. Because I would love to be able to keep your interest. Okay, about like that. Okay, so that's that part done. I've got the lip a little bit there, but that's not too bad. And let's do the same on this side. Okay. There we go. I've gone silent again. That's all my concentration. Sorry about that. Okay. Oops. I don't know what I did there. But let's get rid of that. Okay. So that's that's part done. You can still see it's a little bit, it looks like the inside of a mouth, let's be fair. Okay, now let's go to the patch. I just want to show you here. So the tooth curves in, comes up. Okay, so we basically want a, a corner. We have to choose where is best. And um, let's try there. Control and D. There we go. That looks all right, doesn't it? Okay. So let's do this one as well quickly. Like that. And we need the line again for our tooth. So how about, let's see, we need a darker spot. How about that? Control D. Nope, I don't like that. So let's go back one. And let's try again. Let's choose. Let's see what happens if we choose here. Control D. Yeah, it looks kind of alright. So let's let's use a spot healing brush just to clean up a bit of the the mess that came with that. And back to our burn tool, which is just over here, and which is zero. I mean O, sorry. And let's burn a tooth ridge over there. Okay. There we go. I'm not going to do those because you get the gist of what I'm doing. Okay, so my next tutorial, or one of my next ones, will be how to whiten teeth. Um, as you can see, it's got a great tinge to it. Some teeth do, some teeth don't. It depends on the lighting as well. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe so you can get notifications when I upload new content. And please give it a thumbs up if you find it helpful. And don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments. Okay, thank you very much.